In this video I remade another 5 classic LEGO Star Wars sets, all the way from 1999, the year when the Star Wars theme actually started for LEGO. And let's get right into it. The first set I will be remaking today is 7121 Naboo Swamp, released in 1999, 62 parts and it retailed for only $10. I actually have the original one, so we'll have a nice side-by-side -side comparison at the end. So for a remake I decided to go with exactly the same blue 6x16 plate, and instead of two blocky trees we had in the original set I went with just one, but a little more detailed. It was actually one of the first time I built custom trees, but I think it turned out pretty nice. I also added some greenery to match the scene from the movie. Now I need two updated droid steps and for that I could have used official LEGO ones, but I decided to make my own because I recently found this odd shaped brown piece in a bin and I thought this would make a perfect lower part of the step. And here's the finished step. I think it looks great, although a little fragile. I'm also using this cool pink round tile from General Grievous Wheel Bike as a control panel. For this remake, I will need two of those. As for the minifigures, I'll be using this Nabu Dual Quagon Jin with a cape and most recent Jar Jar. The droids, however, haven't changed since 1999 pretty much, but I added these 10 bar pieces as backpacks. Now let's take a look at the original version of the set side by side with the update one. I think both look really nice and I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I mean yes, new one obviously utilizes more modern pieces and techniques, but it just wouldn't exist without the original one that some of you probably had as their first LEGO set. Moving on to the next set, 7101 Lightsaber Duel, released in 1999 as well, 42 pieces retailed for $6. So for this one I'm going to design Darth Maul Speeder, which is actually called Bloodfin, and also a small tattooing vibrator, which is built very awkwardly in the original set, so I'm gonna try to match that. For the Bloodfin I'm going for a little different color scheme, because I believe it's more accurate and overall my goal is to also make it thinner. The speeder is done, turned out pretty sleek in my opinion. And lastly the evaporator, not much to say about this one, very simply built but I think it works. Here are the figures, by the way I gave Darth Maul this special hilt because I think it looks way better than the normal one. Another Qui-Gon minifigure, and here's the finished set. Next set, 7200 Final Duel 1 from 2002, 21 pieces and retail for 7 bucks. So this one is a pretty straightforward, I need to build a throne for Palpatine and also a window behind him. Let's start with a window, so I'm gonna use a TIE Fighter windshield and do this pretty simple frame around it. As for the throne, we've had many of them over the years and again I could have reused the official one but I decided to build my own, inspired by the original design with two black slopes as a throne back. Additionally, I've included two accessories holders behind the throne, where you can store Emperor's lightsaber and force lighting. 
and of course it can spin. And this is the figures I will be using. Here's how a finished set looks like. I also have Final Duel 2 remake from my previous video, so we can combine them to get an ultimate Final Duel set. Now let's move to the fourth set, which is 4475 Jabba's Message, 2003, 34 parts, and retailed for $7. We kinda got it remade two times already, first time as a part of Jabba's Palace set, and second time not long ago in a Boba Fett throne room set, and both of them were pretty good actually, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here, and I'm gonna utilize most of the pieces from the throne room set, and just change it up a little bit. Turned out pretty smooth I would say, and now let's get to the figures. So C-3PO is the easiest one. Now for R2 I wanted to give him a third leg and for that I'm gonna use this technique. And voila. Lastly, the Bib Fortuna figure is also from the throne room set, which is actually inaccurate to the set I'm making, but I don't have any other versions sadly. But I also gave him a dark blue cape, which looks cool on him. And this is the finished set. Now the last set of today's video, 7103 Jedi Duel released in 2002, 74 parts and retail for 10 bucks. This set was again kind of remade with 2013 Duel and Geonosis, but still I decided to give it a try. So here's my attempt at the speeder bike. Looks decent I think, but a little fragile because front and the back parts are connected only with one stud. Now the forklift from the original set is actually supposed to be part of the scenery, but I decided to actually make it a play feature like we had in Duel and Geonosis set where you can clip Yoda figure and jump around with it. Here are the minifigures I will be using. And here's the finished set. Alright, there was so much fun recreating those small and nostalgic sets from the early days of LEGO Star Wars. I think my favorite is Naboo Swamp because of how packed this set is and also I just love my design of an updated staff. So let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and I think I pretty much covered all 6 to 10 dollar sets and now I think I want to move to slightly bigger sets. So if you have any suggestions what I should do next, also let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and see you in the next one.